Hey there guys and welcome back to this bonus lesson. Inside this lesson I'm going to be covering a few different things that you can do now that your website is launched to help spread your website even further to people online and they mainly have to deal with Google. So we all know Google is the giant out there so we want to do things in best practice with what they preach so I'm going to walk you through a few of those things today. So to get started um, I'm going to hop over to this Help Center article here from Squarespace and I'll talk a little bit more about what we're going to be doing. So what we're going to be doing is verifying your site with Google Search Console. So what this is, it's, it's a free service and you can read through this here. It's, it's something that you can go through to request that Google indexes your site, meaning that when you make changes to your site, they'll show up in search results sooner. And then after connecting the Google Search Console, you can check your analytics within Squarespace to see what keywords people are searching uh, to find your website. So that's one thing we'll do and the next thing I'll show you how to do that kind of goes hand in hand with this is indexing your site. So to get started with doing this, head back to your website, go to settings, go into connected accounts and then click connect account. From here click Google Search Console So what this will do now is ask you to choose an account to connect with Squarespace Analytics Search Console. So pick that email account that you set up in a previous lesson. Click Allow here. And now you're connected. So you can click this button right here to kind of see how this works. So it might take 72 hours to, for your site to get indexed. But here's where you could go in here and see what keywords people are researching to find your website. So now that we're connected to Google Search Console, I'm going to show you how you can index your site with Google. So to do this, whoops, let's go back to connected accounts and just click on this icon right here and pull up this article for Google Search Console. So what this will do now is bring you in to the inside of your Google Search Console account. This is the old version right here. If you see this, go ahead and click Use New Search Console right here. So this will just bring the updated version of the tool. So now you should see your site connected here that you connected before. So make sure you click the right site. And now what we want to do is go down to Site Maps. So here's where we'll ask Google to index your website. So the easiest way to do this and we'll go back to this Help Center article here is go down to index your site which is optional so there's a few ways that you can do this but the easiest way is to go to section 3 here and just copy and paste the sitemap.xml right here go back to sitemaps and Google Search Console enter that in right there and then click submit so now you're set and Google's really happy so now as you make more changes to your site Google Google will be sure to index them and show your pages and search results a lot faster. So now that we have everything set up here, I'm going to head back to our website and we're going to do one more Google related thing. And now this is optional, you don't need to do it, but I'm going to walk you through how to connect Google Analytics with your site as well. So Squarespace does come with built-in analytics and it gives you a lot of data that you can look into to see where visitors are coming from your site what pages they're visiting, other things like that. But if you want to take it a step further and connect Google Analytics, if you're familiar with that, we can do that by going to Settings here, going to Advanced, and then clicking External API Keys here. So now it'll ask you to enter a Google Analytics account number. So to do that and get that set up, click this Help Center article right here and open that up. And it'll say here what you need to do to get started is to sign up for an account. So click this link right here. And you should be signed up already through your account. But if not, go ahead and create that account sign up. So now it'll ask for you to enter in an account name. So enter in the name of your account or the name of your website. And then enter in here. Now you can enter in your URL. Select an industry. You might not find the one that fits with yours, but pick the one that best fits your business. 
usually I just pick other. Pick your time zone. Just pick this for now. And then click Get Tracking ID. So make sure to go through and accept these. And now what you'll get here is this tracking ID, which you can add to your site. And the main thing that we're looking to do is grab this right here. So copy and paste that and head back over to Squarespace. And now copy and paste that in there and click Save. So now this will allow you to add Google Analytics to your website. So now you can come here and view some of that same data and even a little bit more advanced data than what Squarespace offers to get insights into where people are visiting from, what locations they're visiting from, popular pages on your site, and a whole lot more. So those are just a few things to take care of after launching your website. Take care of these few things. It'll get you steps ahead of where a lot of other people are. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to me and I can help you out with this step.